um so i just saw a poster or a flyer um from the ministry of uh, it's ministry of roads and highways like these these guys when they wake up every morning and you know put on do their makeup put on their clothes and you know go to work like i'm wondering what do they do every day like you know how many departments are there what like what's their basic function like what do you think about like in a you know in a normal day what do they do especially when you when you hear them say charlie oh they don't have money they don't have money to do this they don't have money to do this. and a lot of their jobs is outsourced yeah they give to you know contractors to go so then like what the whole ministry what's their job what's their existence like yeah that's not even the issue yeah I came across this flyer and I want to believe this thing is not true. Like, I really want to believe it's not true. The official launch, or the official launch of maintenance app and call center as part of the Enhanced Road Maintenance Program. Francis Asenso, MP, Minister of Roads and Highways. Uh, it's going to be launched on the 30th, which is, what's the date? Today's 27th. It's going to be launched on the 30th at the conference through Ministry of Roads and Highways. 9 30 a.m like i really want to believe this thing is not true okay first of all how many apps have existed like in the at least you let's just rank it like the past eight years since this government came into office there's been over i don't know the number but then yeah with baumia pushing digital agenda and all there's been so many apps but for this particular one I even want to believe there's one app like a service, you know, citizens app or something. Citizens, you know, there's this portal that is supposed to be designed uh, where citizens would report for whatever. There's a tracker. But do you need a, an, an app? You don't need an app. You like, you so don't need an app if you want to see, you know, if a first of all tells us that the government has no records of, you know, the roads that they are supposed to build they have no records of like the road but there's no architecture for ghana there's no blueprint map for ghana that's what it tells us first of all okay and then again it tells us that there's no road map um, no 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 it, it tells us that like charlie there's no future for ghana ghana is ghana is charlie eh? charlie it's it's <laughs> It's heart. What's the word? It's heart. Heart wrenching. It's Charlie. It's sad. Though. It's just sad. Like it's hard to believe people would be this evil, this wicked, this. I I don't know the terms to use. Like Charlie, people are just insensitive. They are they are they are greedy. People are greedy. People are like you can see, Charlie. People are people are hustling through this economy with the cost of living people are finding it difficult to like you know just get by and you have like and the old people somebody has been paid to build an app i know if this thing becomes like you know if people start hitting them and hitting them hard it will become like oh they didn't even pay this much this amount of money blah blah blah, blah, blah. but then i will bet somebody has been paid to build this up like really if you want to build um how do you call it if you want to build a report center you want to hear like you're sourcing for you know information from you know citizens to report take uh, a platform like the Trotro diary they would even do a better job if you ask if you put hand them you know a job like this all you have to do is a whole ministry you need just one person one person your cost should be that you buy a smartphone for them okay and then you set up a page, uh, well, Ministry of Road or whatever, reporting center, blah, 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 whatever you want to call it, call center. People don't even need to make a call. You don't, they don't need to make a call. You don't need to call me to tell me, oh, this, this road here is good. Uh, a simple hashtag will send whatever information to you, you, you guys. Okay. Or buy a smartphone, hand it to somebody, uh, set up a page um, on what? In Twitter, Instagram, whoa, all of the social media pages you guys want to be on. Uh, in fact, TikTok will just sell it off freely. Um, put on the page and say, Ghana is, Ghana is, Charlie, people are just evil. <laughs> like, like, you wonder, 
like educated people people have gone to school and then they come to tell you that download an app okay before and report issues you see you can download an app for some other things okay but for reporting road you know issues oh my i have bottles uh, there's this bad road here okay there's this portal uh, that this road you know killing people this particular vicinity whatever it's just a picture and if you have set up these platforms okay if you have set up these platforms all people need to do is to take pictures and send it to you write whatever the name by location by geo tagging the images you just know where the, whether you can even you know you can be sure whether really this uh, image is true or not just by geo tagging the image every picture which is put online okay comes with uh, metadata you can know where the picture was taken where uh, uh, whichever area whichever where, in fact the time whenever okay so social media like just solves it for you social media would solve this facebook will solve it for you and you get people who backtrace like it's a social media page no it's just a social media page you need you don't need an app to solve an issue like you know reporting uh first of all how many people are going to download it i will bet with with expensive data with all of the expensive data that you know uh people have to cough up money to get small amount of you know people should download it and then when i'm working i'm just uploading through when i can see i have every look at the number of people because you're looking at the numbers okay look at the number of people on social media on facebook alone on on um tiktok alone I can report issues on TikTok and the information would reach your office. If somebody is just bought you guys, buy them uh, a smartphone, sign them up on the platform, okay, on your with your names on the whatever platforms you choose to want to be. But for a government, then you really want to be on all of the platforms. But obviously, you know, very significant, like TikTok would push, Twitter would be like massive because it's like on the spot, you know. Charlie, it's sad, it's sad. It's, it's just sad.